in this video we are going to see mesh analysis problem for dependent as well as independent sources where we'll be having a voltage controlled voltage source so here is a problem we have to get a uh, vx the voltage specified by them by using a mesh analysis so it's a clear cut we'll be having three meshes let's mark the mesh currents so i1 i2 and over here we are say it's i3 so it's uh, difficult to see but you have to adjust and you have to say this is i3 now based on the current that is flowing through the resistor we have to mark the voltage drop but before that let's encircle the drop marked by them so this is a drop which given by them so let's encircle and let's mark our drop based on the current direction so we'll be having a drop like this like this like this for mesh 1 for mesh 2 and for mesh 3 Let's apply KVL to mesh 1. Let's start with the voltage source. So minus plus. So minus plus is plus, but the value given is minus 30. Hence, it is minus 30. Plus minus. Just focus on the green ink polarity plus minus so it's a minus 16.67 i1 plus minus minus 33.33 i1 and minus plus this is because of i3 so plus 33.33 i3 plus minus minus 25 i1 minus plus plus 25 i2 because of the current 2 plus minus minus 10 equal to 0 so it's a straightforward there is no substitution required because we'll be having only i1 i2 i3 the variables that you mark at the mesh currents so let's simplify this so if i simplify this minus 16.67 minus 33.33 that makes minus 50 and minus 25 will ultimately give us minus 75 i1 now for i2 it is only one term 25 i2 so plus 25 i2 and i3 once again only one term that is 33.33 i3 equal to constant over here is a minus 30 and minus 10 that becomes minus 40 on the left hand side if i take this minus 40 on the other side it becomes plus 40 so we'll get a straightforward equation one let's go to mesh tool apply KVL to mesh two. Let's start from this voltage source. So it's a minus plus, it's a voltage controlled voltage source. So that becomes 2x minus plus, plus 10 plus minus, minus 25 I2 minus plus plus 25 i1 equal to 0 here we need a substitution equation because vx is coming over here which is not r variable as a mesh curve so we need a substitution equation so over here 
Vx is given by them with this radian polarity, nothing but resistor 16.67 multiplied by current. Now, the polarity that given by them and the polarity that we mark depending upon the current flowing through it is matching. So, if the polarity is matching, hence we will have the current as I1 only positive value. So, we can say Vx is nothing but 16.67 I1 as a substitution for Vx. We can substitute over here to simplify the equation. So, we will have 2 times 16.67 I1 plus 10 minus 25 I2 plus 25 I1 equal to 0. So, this becomes thirty three point three 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 I one plus ten minus twenty five two plus twenty five I one equal to zero. So this will be 58.3333 actually we can make it 34 also so that will not make any difference as such minus 25 i2 equal to minus 10 as a equation number 2 so we got an equation in terms of mesh currents i1 and i2 and finally in the third mesh, no need to apply K wheel because current source is a part of mesh. I can directly say I3 as 0.45, that will become our equation number 3. So, for here, no need to apply K wheel. Because current source is there in the mesh which will decide this mesh currents. So, if you solve these three equations, we will get I1, I2, I3. So, we will get I1 as minus 0 0.9005 ampere. I2 as minus 1.7013 ampere and needless to say I3 has to be 0 0.45 ampere only. Remember we have to get the value of Vx. So, simply by substituting the value of I1, we will get a Vx, which is 16.67 multiplied by minus 0 0.9005. So, finally, Vx will get as minus 15.0113 volt. This is the final answer.